got pretty completely destroyed the applesauce. What's up guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day as always. Today I'm out here with my Gamo Swarm Magnum 22 and it's a Sunday, it's my day off. I'm just gonna do a little shooting. I got a few targets out there and gonna, gonna just have some fun. I got an ATV in the background. I just got that thing there. Uh, so I just like to have it in the background kind of. proud of it you know so just gonna do the video with that in the background but yeah I got this uh, gamo and gonna just shoot a few things and I've got a fire going over here here are the targets the stuff I got from work but pretty much uh, this caught my eye it's kind of started this whole idea this whole uh, Tin of uh, crackers um, they had this at work for like months and it's finally empty now but I'm gonna try to get a headshot on mr. Keebler here from my spot over there it's about 20 yards maybe 25 20 to 25 yards but yeah I got the, these two apple sauces from work nobody was eating them got that and then a jug of water too so gonna be shooting this stuff should be pretty fun oh this uh sign from uh work also it's a metal sign but i'm gonna pretty much get annihilated by the gamo magnum 22 I'm gonna just see uh, what kind of damage the magnum does with it and then here we go we got a little tin of uh, these i don't know candy sticks whatever you call these cream filled wafers I got those things from work. I have a uh, a metal uh, hot Sunday hot fudge sign. They were gonna throw that out at work, and then I got a few other things they were gonna throw out at work. So I put them up there, and I thought it'd be nice to shoot at them. So just to kind of see what kind of damage this thing does. And this is a this is probably the strongest air gun that Gamo makes. That's a break barrel air gun. So gonna see how it does. There's my ATV. It's a CF Moto C4 600 Touring. It's Chinese made, but it's a really nice machine. So don't go thinking everything in China is bad quality. Look at it. It's awesome. Here's the Gamo. And today I'm shooting a Premier Hollow Points 14.3 grain. Pretty much basic, uh, the cheapest. Uh, pallets you can buy but I'm gonna see how we do all right I'm gonna get to it now I don't know what I want to go first I'm thinking maybe the apple sauces so let's see what happens got my GoPro over there hopefully I don't hit it I think I'll go for the applesauce all the way on the left just completely destroy that thing Oh my god, nailed it. Totally nailed it. And I scared some chipmunks in the back. By the way, this thing's already loaded. I already loaded it up. Gonna go for that water jug next. Gonna hit the top, top part of it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Right, next up, gonna hit the water bottle next to the water jug. I'm gonna try to hit it right in the Poland Spring uh, sign. And that's actually filled up all the way more than when you buy it new, so. Oh yeah. Smacked it right in the middle, I think. Next up, 
Going for the applesauce. Next applesauce. Oh my god. It completely destroyed the applesauce. And by the way, before I continue, um, that apple, those two applesauces were from work and some girl brought them in and they just sat there for months. Nobody was eating them. I was in fact the only one that's eating them. So I figured I'd make a nice video with that. Not that I waste food or anything, but just wanted to disclose that. Going for the tin can now, all the way on the right. Gonna hit it right in the middle. Oh yeah, smacked it. Next up, hot fudge sign. I don't know where I should hit it. Should I go for the middle of the ice cream or should I go for the cherry? I'll go for it right in the middle of the, the vanilla right there. Oh my God. Such a hard hitting air gun. All right, what do I do next? I think I'll try to hit Mr. Keebler right in the forehead now. behind the ear let's try that again oh got him in the top of the shoulder now all right moving on gonna hit that water bottle again oh yeah look at it squirt next up going for the water jug oh knocked it over and this is the one hard-hitting air gun gotta fill it up now or out I believe for those of you that don't know um, it comes with a 10 round magazine this air gun and you just load it up and then keep on shooting. So I think I'm gonna shoot two, uh, two magazine fulls. I don't know, for some reason I feel like I loaded up only nine in that, uh, in the magazine just now. I'm not sure, I'll have to watch the video to know. But 10, 10 go in the magazine. I'm surprised how big of a hole it made in that uh, hot fudge sign over there. Like it really dented it and made a hole in it. By the way, I use a little twig. It's a little twig, helps get the pellets in the magazine better. There's other videos of people doing it by hand, but it's like, it's like hard to do. I just use like a little screw or a twig. It helps it go a lot faster. I really like this uh, Gamo Magnum that I have, um, but a lot of videos out there say that you should upgrade the scope on it because the gun outperforms the scope. So I'm sure in the future sometime I'll get a better scope, but right now I'm just running the, the stock scope, the original scope. All right, it's in there and do some more shooting. Let's see what we want to do next. I think I'll hit that water jug again. Still some water in it. Man, holy moly. Doing a lot of moving for a 22. Next up, water bottle. go for the hot fudge sign. Gonna try to hit that cherry on top. Oh man. Knocked hey, over. <laughs> <laughs> Next up gonna go for that tin right there. All the way on the right. 
just annihilates everything. Airsoft? What's that? Airsoft or BB? This is a pellet gun. Ah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's like a really strong uh, air gun, you know? over to 10 again so I got five left in here and just gonna hit the the cracker tin the big green cracker uh, can right there it's gonna go for mr. Keebler I think I can already tell that it's going entirely through the sign, through the target, through the other side. The one in the water jug again. And one more in there. Okay, I'll put her down and uh, assess the damage. All right, let's see how we did. Wow, I'm surprised at how much stuff I knocked over. Knocked over that jug, knocked over that log. Not bad. And here's Mr. Keebler. And just like I suspected, went right through the right through the container. Other side. Yep. Didn't even flinch. Here's some applesauce on the log. And look at that. This is most impressive at, from all from everything. Look at the the depth it made with those uh, those holes. Almost uh, stepped on my GoPro here. This thing even recording. Yep, it was. And I not, I uh, <laughs> broke that twig. Man, this Gamo Pro Gamo Magnum does a lot of damage. Yeah, but most uh, most impressive is the sign how uh, how deep those uh, holes went in there. And then look at the other side. It's almost like you shot a 22 long rifle. Then the log got some of it too. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button and subscribe for more videos if you're into this kind of stuff. Catch you next time.